going on guys welcome back to the channel so today i got a quick video on how to hack the snes classic uh it should be really easy with hackchi so you want to go to this website which will be in the description below it's the cluster m hackchi version 2.20 internal version uh this is the version that supports the snes classic yeah so you can take a look at all the stuff that it supports down here you know all the information etc but basically you want to download the hackchi 2.2 zip file right here and then save it on your desktop once it's downloaded um, you'll see right here just double click on it open it up and you'll see a hackchi folder just drag that out to your desktop And then now we're going to connect the SNES to the PC. So you see right here, I got the USB cord. Just plug that in into your computer, which my computer is right next to my TV. Now you want to hold the reset up and then press the power button or slide the power button up. Let go after five seconds. You'll hear that noise. That means your computer connected the device. Uh, to it. So let's go back to the computer now in the hackchi folder that we just unzip There's a hackchi.exe file right here You want to right click on it and run it as administrator You'll get this error. No biggie hit more info and then run anyway And then hit yes, and then once it finds out I inserted this into the video But once it finds out it'll ask you to install a driver because it needs the driver So just click install driver um because I forgot to put that in here but once you get that driver installed you'll see this message and basically you want to select the SNES Classic Mini and hit OK here so once you're done with that um, the first step is much the most important is you want to dump your kernel uh, basically the kernel is the kind of like the OS or the, the state that the retail box is in and you want to save that because it's just in case if there's a problem you can always flash it back um, or if you ever sell it or get rid of it and you want to put it back to the state in which it was the retail state you need this to actually do that so if this is very important make sure you save it it's going to dump it into a file under the hack sheet folder that you extracted onto your desktop so once this is done we'll take a look at that All right, so there you go, you hit okay. And then you see there's that dump folder right here. Now in there is the kernel, save this, copy it to a desktop, copy it to a flash drive, email it to whatever. So next we are gonna wanna add some games here. So you click add games, add more games at the bottom, go to your ROM folder and you'll see, I have a bunch of ROMs here. Um, they could be zip, but I'm gonna select all these here and just hit open and it's going to import them right into the hackchi program themselves um they will also uh put in you know the information in there like all the aladdin the thing you see all that breath of fire uh what date it was released but there's no art so you want to select all of them right click download box art from google it will download all the box art for each one of the system um one of the uh, cartridges so you get nice box art just like the standard uh, SNES classic look that you have there um, but there are some issues with some of the art so um, you can add your own which I'll show you right after this gets done downloading here now hit OK now if you see it has box art you know Aladdin's got a box art etc so some games like Chrono Trigger have terrible box art by Google. So if you hit browse, you could select your own box art is which I downloaded myself. So Final Fight came up with Final Fight 3. So you hit browse, pick my box art, and there you go. So basically you just want to double check um, all your settings. You know, click on Aladdin's one player, you know, Breath of Fire one player, uh, Chrono Trigger one player, uh, Final Fight has two players, you know, etc. So now, if you go to settings, um, pages, file and structure, uh, pages split equally is how it will divide it and by how many 
uh, you want. So 25 is how many I want per page, and then you got to hit a folder, and you'll see that in the video, but it'll s get to the next 25. So that's basically how you do that. And then once you're done, hit synchronize to SNES, and it will upload all the games and all the files, etc., to the system. So let this run real quick. There you go. Hit OK when you're done. And now let's jump over to the uh, SNES. And there you go. You can see all the games are there. Once it does do that, it will reset just to, you know, FYI. Um, and then it will pop back up. And there you go. Now you have all your games in there. So um, you can see the box arts there, you know. Um, and then if you go over to the file here, uh, the folder looking thing, that's how you switch to the next 25. So there you go. And that's it. So again, thank you for watching. Uh, like if you like, dislike if you didn't. But again, thank you for watching.